Shane, come here, come here, take a look at this. Holy smoke. Instructions for coronation kits. <laughs> hey, how are we doing today? Yes, it's me, Robert Zaba, auctionaire extraordinaire. And in this video, you guys get to see me buy a $40 unit. That's right, $40. I take a gamble on a unit. Lots and lots of boxes. You never know where you're going to find a $40 unit. And it's hard to lose money on a $40 unit. So, awesome. In this video, it's a locked file cabinet from the one video from a little bit ago I just did. Um, the lady passed away. Nobody wanted her unit. We found the file cabinet. We just never opened it. I ended up popping it open. Had some great surprises in there. I can't believe it's like this is what they put in a file cabinet. Unbelievable. So take a look. Watch us go to this first facility. Watch the video from beginning to end. I hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, check out the sign. No guns, no dogs, no bikes. Obey the following rules. And we're not going to obey any of them because we're going to a storage unit. Woo! And this is the way to the storage unit down this weird, strange road next to the playground. And uh, I don't even know what this is. The school, the church, there's a stadium over here. There's kids playing football. But baseball, baseball. All right. Definitely one of the strangest storage facilities out there. Hopefully this is the right way to the storage facility. Where are you taking me, Shane? We're supposed to be the navigator. How are we doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I know I am. The sun's out. It's cooled down eh, a little bit. I got Super Shane with me, and we're in a storage facility out in Lorraine, Ohio, and I spent $40. That's right, $40 for this unit. I think it looked like an old lady's unit. I could be right. I could be wrong. We're going to find out, but $40, hey, let's take a risk. Let's take a gamble. I mean, what can we lose? 40 bucks and our time. So, I can't wait to go see what's inside. I know you guys can't wait either, so let's take a look in. What? Well, our unit is in here somewhere. So we gotta open up the lock. We gotta find our unit. Oh, it's right here. You guys haven't subscribed? What are you waiting for? Subscribe, it's free. Easiest thing to do, subscribe, hit the bell. Get all your notifications. You're gonna see great things. You never know what we're gonna find. Order houses, storage units like this. So let's open up. I can't wait to see what's in there. All right, we're in. Let's take a look. Shane's never seen it. You guys haven't seen it. I only seen some pictures, so. <laughs> oh, man. Now this is the unit. It's not packed and stacked, but it has some stuff in here. And uh, the first thing I see is this. Uh, you know what this is? Like an oil nozzle? Oil nozzle or oil gas can. Military gas can. And there's a name out there. And it's not a very nice name they call it, Shane. But let me just tell you, it's an anatomy of a donkey. So, who knows what we're going to find here. I'm going to put my gloves on. And, uh, man, there's definitely a lot of boxes. And the reasons I thought it was an old lady's unit is one, the lamp right here. Definitely vintage goodness. Then I saw these crutches in the back. So maybe someone had some medical issues. Then I saw this little washer and dryer. I said for 40 bucks. I didn't even see this thing, so. But I said for 40 bucks. This thing's gotta be worth around 40 bucks. Let's just take a look at it. Oh! Oh man! Man, oh man, there's a lot of boxes back there. Ever seen anything like this? 
<laughs> we found a lot of washing machines lately. We've been on a rip, but this one's different than any other one. I guess this is the dryer part, at least enough to dry it. Bring it. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we're 40 bucks. What is this? Oh, Emerson little boom box. Speakers. Drywall tape. This is for repairing drywall. You put this on like this. Or the D drywall, then you patch it up and then you sand it and make it look nice and smooth. Alright. First one up here. Let's see what we got. Some pots, pans, and glass jars. So I'd say, I don't know, probably orange juice or something. Two of those in there. People say the weirdest stuff. It says miscellaneous box. We always say miscellaneous because you never know where you're going to find miscellaneous. Oh. oh, look at all those boxes back there, Shane. See, that's what I was hoping for. And there's some kind of nice look. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. It's like a nice table. See it? It's like gold. We found gold, Shane. We found a dog collar. And a dog toy. Poor dog collars, we are gone. Some dishes and some jars. Yeah, we call it some junk. Why do you save it? Who knows? We're gonna need these containers one day. Holy teddy bear, oh my gosh. Oh, it's not a teddy bear. It's better. It's an elephant. <laughs> oh my gosh. I always, I always like I always saw the people walk around like the fair and stuff. They win this big prize. Man, I want to win a big prize like this. Elephant. This thing's so awesome, dude. He's almost as big as me. And did you hear about the elephant in India? This is true story. Have you heard about this? No. Seventy-some-year-old lady going to get water gets killed by an elephant. Killed. And elephants usually don't attack people. Okay? And elephants are known for what? Not forgetting. They have a memory. Yeah, yes. They always say you have a memory like an elephant. Because elephants don't forget. Long story short, they were having the funeral for the lady. The elephant came and attacked the lady's corpse. Threw it to the ground and trampled it. And then left. <laughs> no, why are you laughing? This is a true story. So think about it. this lady did something to the elephant. I don't know what it was, but it made the elephant very mad. And a mad elephant, that's what it could do for you. Kill you and then come back and trample your body and leave. Who's going to stop it? It's an elephant. So, But this elephant is much nicer than that elephant. You never heard this story? It just happened like a couple weeks ago, I heard. So I got to get this out of the way. We'll go through some of these boxes, but man, I got a giant elephant on my back. It's better than having a, a monkey on my back, I guess. We got. This looks like a pizza bag. It does. Small pizza jacket. What do you got in a pizza bag? Ugh. It's covered with hair. Duracell charging stuff. Some kind of ugh. Carry jacket. Oh, must be from the dog. Door. Bread. Muffin tins. Oh, yeah, bread pants. And some cups. Uh oh, pots and pans. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh. It's heavy because it's got china in here. It says china in the bottom. See, main china. Mainstay. All kind of bowl plates. You never know. You can always find stuff. Sometimes you'll find. I found jewelry to cool things in. Little boxes like this before. Oh, I'm back there. And a sweet lampshade. Oh. Don't wear lampshades on your head. Don't try this at home. Curtains. Coffee maker. Black and Decker. So, a few dollars.
uh, here's your new popcorn maker, Shane. Slightly used. Slightly used. A little dog here on there. Just wipe it off. And it's Orville Redenbacher one. Only the best for you, Shane. Only the best! What the heck? Well, this is nice. You got milk glass lamp there. This is a candle wick, it's called. So, candle wick, milk glass lamp, mid century modern. I keep talking about it, Shane. Oh, man. They didn't leave us any troll candy cane sour brights. Oh! Oh, man. You know how good they would be right now? You'd eat a candy cane, wouldn't you? A troll candy cane? Of course, on this on this beautiful day. Sour bright. Think about Christmas. Think about these nice monitors. So that's like a flat monitor. Two of them. Dual monitor chain. Pretty hip, you know. Definitely got a lot of household stuff in this unit. Oh, right there. Pay 40 bucks for the unit, Shane. We gotta get our money back, and here's one way. Cast iron pans. It is definitely marked, it's just been used a lot. Well, we got two of them here. That's Ozark or whatever. Ozark Trail, I think. Mm -hmm. But go look at one of these in the store. You're probably, for this pan here, it's probably $30, $40 all day. Probably $50, $60, maybe more now. So, if we can get 20, 20, that's 40 bucks. That's our unit paid for. Cast iron always sells well, but sometimes we get great money for cast iron. We've had a couple cast iron collectors. We sold their whole collections for tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, ice cube trays. That's what you were looking for, huh, Shane? And we got more plates for our plate collection. I guess it's better to have one chair than no chairs. Here, Shane, take a seat. It's hot out there. I don't want you to work too hard today. Look at this. I just want to know what's underneath here. Oh. No, well, I was wrong. There's a table back here, but there's some boxes back underneath there. There's more boxes, more boxes, more boxes. Can we find something good in any of these boxes? Sometimes I found the best stuff in the garbage bags in the ask before. So let's see. Wireless Joey. Looks like we got clothes, shoes, jackets. It smells wonderful. Oh, what's this? What is this down here? Oh! Okay. We got a whole part of a computer in here. Just keeps going. They said you never know what you're going to find in a garbage bag. Oof, man, it stinks. More computer stuff. Interesting. I would say the best thing comes in big packages. I know. Small packages. I don't know. Either way, we got this miscellaneous box. We can't wait to see what's in there. I mean, what is this? What the heck is this? Oh, metal shelving. There's some cash. These metal shelves always money. We got this piece behind us. We got the poles in there. So, ooh, look at this. This is an antique. Wow. What the heck? What's inside of it? Is it just like rocks? Or do they like hide their gold in there? Or all their diamonds? Is that weird? So look at that, it's all hand carved. I mean, that is definitely an old piece. That is pretty cool. There's more lamps down here. Nice. But, that one's not alone. Here's your sister. Pair of lamps. Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, it's full, Shane. It's full. Just joking. Sounds like Shane. But what do you think of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey flask goes for? At least five bucks, right? Mm-hmm. And then I seen this military 
flashlight right there, US. Military flashlight, probably ten, fifteen dollars. And we got keys to your new car. Somewhere in the parking lot, let's go find it. It's the one covered with hair in the seats. <laughs> <laughs> miscellaneous lamp. And what's the miscellaneous? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What else is miscellaneous in here? Oh, here's the keys to your other car. It's also covered in here. Yes, more of these, these cores. We're gonna find like a bunch of laptops or something. All right, what we got in the box, Shane? How much money? You pay forty dollars for the unit. Oh, got some pennies from heaven. So, probably forty cents. <laughs> oh, do you see what I see? That lint roller? No. Yeah, two of them. Might just be all brand new jewelry boxes. But why would you have brand new jewelry boxes if you don't have jewelry? But that's nice. Definitely sell those. And a silver tray, Shane. Get some Sony speakers! Boom, 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 boom. Aloe vera. PS3. Is it in there? That's pretty cool. Walking Dead game. It's going to be worth a few bucks. So we only spent $40 on a unit. And we knew we might find some junk. Like these plastic bowls and family size ice cream container. We did find this awesome Subway Cleveland Indians League Champions 2016 Collector Cup. Subway and Cleveland Indians no longer exist. Priceless. Priceless. What is in here? Looks like camouflage or something. That's oh, it. There we go. That's it, yeah. Just a holder for it. Man, I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Look at this nastiness in here. Woohoo! Oh, where's the knife at? That would have been a good find right there. Ooh, silverware. I'm sure, it's real silver. So I got some household utensils. Oh, man, more utensils. Tongs. This is a grab pans with. You have all kinds of stuff with it. But... Yeah. Stinky, stinky unit for sure. More utensils. Oh, nasty shoes. Well, we got a flat screen TV back here, Shane. We got to check out this table. And we got this huge miscellaneous box. Found a couple military things. Almost some jewelry. Almost a knife, so who knows? Maybe everything we're looking for is in that miscellaneous. All right, $40 unit, you gotta gamble sometimes. And we're not gonna make tons of money off this unit unless something's awesome in this miscellaneous box. But this table, look how nice this table is. And we call this a sofa, a sofa table or entry table. There's a piece of glass right here. I bet you that's the piece that goes on top of this table. There's a flat screen TV, older model. And then back here, we got one and two camping chairs. I imagine this table will probably get between fifty to two hundred dollars. It just depends. We sell stuff at auction. We don't have a set price. We start everything at a dollar. So you guys should check out our auctions, www.secondsense.com, and let's check out what's in this miscellaneous box. We got hopes. We got prayers. And if I haven't said it, I appreciate every one of you guys out there watching. Don't forget, check out all our other videos. Give us a thumbs up. Watch the videos from beginning to end, and you never know what we're gonna find. Maybe stuff like <laughs> this. I have no clue. It's miscellaneous for sure. Holy smoke. Holy heaters. All right. So we got some heaters right here. Two heaters. This is a triple hot plate. So if you're having the parties out here, some kind of bag down here. Oh, man, there's all kind of stuff in here. Nice. So that's a nice, that's Bell. That's a great company right there. A little foot pump. Look at brand new. Still has a tag on there. 
So I bet you go buy this at store, it's probably 10 to 15 dollars, maybe more. There's another little hand pump in here. Oh, right here, there's money. Brand new Titleist DTS Solo. What is it? How much a box of golf balls go for, you know? Probably, it's probably at least 10, 20 bucks. 10, 20 bucks right there, boom. So this box is starting to give us a little return, some heaters. Let's see what's in there here. Glove, a little system over here. Another box down here. Brand new net gear. That's all junk and a part of a crock pot. So I like those for here. So once again, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Check out some of our other videos. And like I said, we got the shelving out of here. We got this nice table out of here. We got the military flashlight. We found some change. We got the military uh, thing, the washing machine. Unfortunately, no candy canes, but some cool lamps. And like I said, you just don't know. Sometimes, like for 40 bucks, it's an easy gamble. Load up the truck, small unit. Anyone could get this kind of unit out there. And like I said, I can turn the profit better than most people because I have an auction company. I can sell almost anything. But you guys saw the little bit of stuff in here that's definitely has the value. I'm gonna make my money back. Shane, Shane, come here, come here, take a look at this. Holy smoke. Look at how awesome it looks with the glass on there. Is that cool or what? It's a nice table. Here, we'll pull it out in the light. We'll take a, get a better look in one second, guys. We'll pull it out in the sun. So this kind of table, like I said, they're called sofa tables, entrance tables. You put it behind your sofa right here, or you can put it right as soon as someone enters the room. And talk about a statement piece. I mean, look at this carving, beautiful flowers. Looks like sunflowers. And it's a beautiful sunny day. It's got this black glass with the gold like leafing through it, or veining, I guess they would call this, the gold veining. And this is actual gold, I'm pretty sure. Like gold leaf inside here. Just needs to be cleaned up. Vintage piece, but definitely will appeal a lot of people. It's one of those cool pieces of furniture they just kind of add somewhere in your house. And man, I don't know what it's gonna sell for at auction, but I'm hoping, I'm sure, It'll bring more than the forty dollars I paid for this year. All right, let's see what we need. Lock the file here. Holy, Holy smoke! Sandvik. It's not in there. There is some stuff in here. What the heck? Is this? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Some kind of scope. This thing looks like it's going to be worth the money. Bosch and Lom, Bell Scope 20, made in the USA 20X. Other chargers can we have in here? Sewage treatment plant, sewer systems, and fixed installation war department, September 1945. Wow, wow, wow. Man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, paperwork. Of course, paperwork is a file cabinet. Dury's quality developing. Some old black and white photos. picture album instructions for coronation kits <laughs> oh, I see some Legos we got a Lego boat we got an I love soccer pen oh cool 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 well, there's all these nuts and bolts here, but behind that, original G.I. Joe guy. We have some more nuts and bolts. Piece of a model. Piece of a slot car tray. Well, the... 1992 Funnies paper. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, man. Got all kind of stuff in here. All kind of stuff. Wow, wow, wow. Got a piece for John Deere. And we got these exercise grips, but look what they say on there. They're from Cool Cigarettes. So you can smoke and work out at the same time. Okay. Then look at another G.I. Joe. So that's two G.I. Joe guys, and I found this little bag. I might just have nuts or bolts or screws in it, hopefully mine. Nuts, bolts. G.I. Joe guys. <laughs> Garfield. Get some pennies in here. See the bottom drawer. Oh, oh man. That's loaded down here. Newspapers 1998. United States Air Force Supervisors course. What is this? What is this? Ah. Oh. Quicksilver armor on. Felt different when I first grabbed it. I was like, oh, I was getting excited. How to get action. Okay. Lots of paperwork in here. Of course, the filing cabinet. Looks like travel stuff. Huh. We got this. Sewing machine accessories. Is. We did find a sewing machine in here, so this must go with that. Got the tomato. All kind of paperwork. Anything hidden in between the paperwork? Huh. Not that I've seen. Bills and bills. New York, Manhattan. Oh, what's this? Reducing risk. Not what's it all came for. I guess if anything fell back here. Another one of these cases, but they're empty. Another case that's empty. baby. Man, these are some old pictures. Look at this. I can see all this money that fell out. Look at all that. 1915. Uh, look at that styling, kid. Some old stuff. You just never know where you're going to find. I was hoping to find some more comic books or something. But nope, just a lot of paperwork. One football card down here, holy smoke. What is that? Lynn Dicky. All right, everybody, that dirty, filthy, dusty unit. Lady passed away, nobody wanted it, and here it is, all cleaned out. So, it was dirty, it was filthy, it was dusty. Took a few loads. But man, cheap gas in this four-cylinder truck. So I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you so much for watching. Never know what we're going to see. Never know what we're going to find. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.